Hey guys, it's me, the Tom Fanatic, and welcome to week two of the UPBA and the inaugural season. This week, we're up against Jack, a good friend of mine, Gravy, uh, boyfriend of Ellie. Um, I'm trying to think what else he's known as, Handsome Jack. Uh, yeah, and his team, I think he's the LA Valientes in this league. I can't remember, he has Yuvaltal Town as well, and other plays of names of... Uh, Overwatch League team names in the works. So sorry, Jack, if I've got your team name wrong this time around, but you're one of them. Anyway, we are coming into this game off the back of a 1 0 win uh, in week one, and Jack is coming into this game on a loss uh, last week. Now, there is no team builder this week, um, as the game's already up like days late anyway, and I've had no time. I've had lots of family stuff go on this week, so I haven't had the time to sit down and record. But I'll give you a brief overview of the team. The Alamola is a wacky set. It's Adamant, <laughs> Max Attack, Max Special Defense AV, because it's there to help with the Keldeo along with the Reuniclus. Um, we have got Dragon Dancing Tyranitar, because it matches up against his team really well. Um, we've got Sand Rush, Life Orb, Excadrill, um, Dragonian Z, uh, Neuvern, which by the way, if I'd have kept this Flanian Z, like I wanted to originally, um, would have made the world a difference in this game. Um, we have got the defensive reuniclus to help with the Keldeo and the Megalopony. So as you can see, Jack bought a Crustle, a Heatran, a Rotom Mo, Color of Fable, uh, Megalatias, and the Keldeo. Keldeo is in a really situation, weird situation in this game. It matches up against my offense really well. It matches up against my defense fairly bad. But Jack can break that defense with Clef, because Clef is something I really struggle with in this matchup. I have a really easy way of killing it with Excadrill. But I have a hard time getting the X-Drill in on the Clefable because X-Drill is a huge win con for me this week. Um, as it can do a lot of damage to a lot of his things really well, uh, especially in Sand. So it's going to be a weird game. It's going to be a game of whether Jack can kill off my um, walls for Keldeo and how well he can preserve his Clefable. Um, I'm not going to try and spoil the game, but looking back at it just myself now, there are certainly things that I should have done in prep which would have been better for this game. Um, and maybe moves that I should have clicked uh, when I, I didn't in the game, but it's all hindsight. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm just stalling for time now because I've set the recording up and I've given myself way too much time at the intro to talk. Um, but like I said, we're looking to try and make this 2-0 going into week 2 of the season. Jack did lose his first game, as I said. Leads, I'm going to lead off of Alamomo because looking at his team, it actually leads off really well against most things other than the Rotom Mo. Um, but my team struggles with Rotom Mo. My draft as a whole struggles with Rotom Mo. Rotom Heat was a potential bring, um, but... It, it kind of struggled against half Jack's team. It kind of struggled, like, really helped. So I didn't put it in the team in the end. So I have sped the battle up this week, because um, based on last week, I think it was a bit too long. I do lead with the Alamomola, and I'm really worried this thing's going to be Shell Smash. So I'm going to click Liquidation, and that does a butt-ton to this thing. It's going to be an easy 2 hit KO as Jack gets up one layer of spikes. So it's a good job that I'm able to 2 hit KO this thing, because um, I wouldn't really want him setting up any more layers of spikes, those he already has. He does switch into the right Mo, and I do predict the switch here and click the knockoff. And we get rid of the Tanga Berry, which means this thing now dies to an X Scissor from my uh, Excadrill. I'm going to switch out here into my. Uh, my... I've forgotten what this thing's called. Neuvern, that's the one. Jack sets up a light screen. Now I'm Infiltrator, so I could have abused that and gone for Z Draco Meteor there and probably killed this thing off, to be honest. Um, which have been really nice because Z Draco isn't going to come in handy anywhere else in this game, as you'll see. Um, but Jack does Vault Switch, so it could have potentially been a free switch into my Excadrill at that point. But again, hindsight. Um, and he brings in the Clefable. And what I can't tell is if it's Unaware or Magic Guard. Because obviously I don't have any hazards up. And I don't actually have any way of like poisoning or burning this thing, I don't think, on my team this week. Which is a real shame, because that would have really come in handy if I did. Uh, but I'm going to click Size Shock, and I completely forget. Because I'm thinking it's the physical side of defense. It still gets affected by, uh, by Light Scream, which is really unfortunate. And now I'm staring down at Clefable, which is at plus one, plus one. And on my team, I have no fairy switch-ins. Um, bearing in mind, I've only seen Calm Mind and um, Moonblast so far. I was expecting him to have Flamethrower, but I actually found out in after game he didn't have any coverage other than Moonblast, which means that Excadrill could have come in on this thing at any point. But again, that's in hindsight. I shouldn't beat myself up about it because there's no way of me knowing that during the game. I'm going to go into my uh, Azumarill here. 
Not a zoom reel. Alamomola. I don't know why. I wish I had a zoom reel. Um, and I chew up that moon blast. That's plus one. And Jack may have figured out that I'm an offensive uh, Alamomola at this point. But he's going to set up another Calm Mind. Now I can take another moon blast. That's absolutely fine. But I don't want it to get too low. Because obviously regenerate is going to be helping me a lot here. I'm going to knock off his lefties because lefties are really annoying. And that does decent damage considering it's resisted. Um, he does go for the Moon Blast here and it's going to do a butt ton. But I'm going to survive with the Assault Vest and I'm going to click Liquidation. Um, which does really good damage considering. Um, I thought this would be like a defensive Clefable but it's not. It's specially defensive. Which makes it even harder to break down with the uh, Calm Minds up. And he's just going to click Moonlight. Not a lot I could have really done there. Although again, in hindsight... Could have gone into extra drill, and I would have had a Reuniclus still alive, and I would have had a Alamomola uh, at, at the amount of health it's at now, but I wouldn't have had to uh, potentially save it for this thing, and I would have saved it for the Keldeo. But Jack's playing this really well. He's knocked out one of my checks for his Keldeo, my best check for his Keldeo, to be honest. It does give me a free switch into extra drill, but he can switch around this thing. He does go into his uh, Rotom Mo. I clicked Iron Head because he's got two Levitators. Um, I figured it was going to be a safe play as well, because the Fable was there. I am going to reveal I have X-Scissor. Um, Iron Head probably would have killed from there, but there's no harm me clicking X-Scissor anyway. Because he's not going to switch Clefable in on this thing, and the rest of his team doesn't want to deal with Earthquakes. Uh, in comes the Keldeo. Choice Specs Keldeo. And this is how where I find out his Choice Specs. And why the spikes that jacks up at the start of the game are really annoying. Because it does now put my Alamola in range to die from the Choice Specs Secret Sword. So... But if my defensive mon's down, we're going to have to try and win this on the offense. So I'm going to go into my Noivern. And throughout this game, I was so scared that he had Icy Wind for my Noivern. Um, actually, Noivern could have been a really nice check for this uh, Keldeo the whole time. I click Hurricane and miss. doesn't really matter, other than it means I've spent one more PP than I needed to. Which could have potentially affected the end game. But Hurricane does now kill this thing off. So Jack doesn't really have a very good answer to this thing. Um, I'm going to stay in here. I'm going to predict him to switch out, pull a double expecting me to switch into something like Excadrill and he goes into the Latias. However, I click Hurricane again because I know that if I get damage on this Clef and can kill it, then Excadrill can win the game, late game. Um, I do hit the Hurricane and Confuse. Uh, I am faster, so I expect him to switch out here anyway. And he's going to go into the Heatran. And me predicting his switch, I'm going to click U-Turn and I'm going to get the hell on out of there. Um, so, I do this turn take my uh, take this as an opportunity to go into my Tyranitar. Now, I am Dragon Dance, as I said. Um, and I'm quite speedy, so I'm thinking, you know what, I'm going to outspeed this Heatran, I'm going to click Earthquake, it's fine if he switches into Latias, it's absolutely fine. But however, he is a Scarfed Defensive Heatran, which um, was annoying. It's a really good job I didn't click Dragon Dance, because I think I may have still been slower, potentially. Um, but he is, yeah, Defensive Heatran, and Earthquake does kill that thing. And Sand is now up. So this turn I decide to sack off my Megalop, which in hindsight is probably not the best idea. What I should have done is probably let Tyranitar die there, then go into Noivern, and then I could have potentially kept uh, this thing round to clean up late game, which would have been really nice, but it's not how it worked out in the end. Um, I'm going to go into Noivern though, every time this thing gets a kill, Noivern gets a free Hurricane off. Um, he does go into his Clefable here, uh, but I click U-turn, expecting him to switch out. Whereas if I'd gone for two Hurricanes, may have potentially killed this thing, because as we'll find out, he is uh, actually unaware, which makes sense. But because of the sand, I can actually confirm this now. He's not Magic Guard. So two Hurricanes might have killed this thing here, and he would have really struggled to switch in now as he trying to died. Um, but he does switch into the Mega Latias. So I'm going to click Iron Head. That's fine. Annoyingly, though, the sand is going to run out this turn. So I have no choice but to go back into my Tyranitar at this point to set up the sand with uh, Excadrill pretty much being the, the end game plan. In my head, looking at uh, calcs, all I need is uh, one turn of chip damage on the Keldeo. If he's standard, has no bulk, then uh, Earthquake should kill. So I just need the chip on that thing. Uh, I'm going to go into Tyranitar because if he wants to roost, that's fine. I have Excadrill. If he wants to try and roost again, that's fine. I have Crunch. He could potentially try and stall out Sand. Um, but what he's actually going to do is he's just going to click Surf, it's a safe play. If I'd have made the, the switch into Noivern there and kept Tyranitar alive, that may potentially have been um, a better play. But there's no way I'd bring in my Noivern on a Mega Latias when Noivern is so crucial to the end game here. Um, I'm going to go into my X Control because I'm still in the sand, I need to abuse it while I still can, and I'm going to click X Scissor because Jack has no switch ins at this point, because if he goes into Keldeo and takes a hit, then he can't live an Earthquake. If he goes into 
his Clefable. He then can't take an well, he can't take a nine hit turn two anyway. I am going to switch out here, which um, in hindsight may have been uh, may have been the nail in the coffin for me. If I just stayed in and just earthquake and killed like not killed this thing, but weakened it to the point where I could have just bought in Noivern. Um, I think that actually might have won me the game because. As we'll see now, I do put U-turn on this thing. I'm going to go out into my... What have I got left? I don't even remember what I have left. Oh, my extra drill. Um, it gives me one free Iron Head. Um, but uh, it's not really going to work out for me here. He's, he's going to go into his Keldeo. I am going to click Earthquake, expecting the switch. Uh, it's the best I could have done. The Earthquake damage would have been more than enough um, for my... Uh, Noivan to come in and revenge kill, um, but Jack is going to click Scald here, uh, and I am going to go down. So this is where me being Z Dragon rather than Z Flying is a bit of a nuisance because I am going to click. I'm going to click Z Draco here. I would have had to have hit a Hurricane to kill this thing anyway. Um, I'm going to click Z Draco just so I don't miss. So this is at least a 1-0 loss if I do lose. Basically, what I have to hope for in this clef is that I get a confusion on the Hurricane or I crit. I don't even think a crit would have killed. Um, I, w I needed the confusion basically to have a chance because Moonblast will kill my Noivern from this range. If I was still at full health, then Noivern could have lived it here. Also, if I was Z Hurricane, it was pretty much a 50-50 chance for me to kill from that range based on Jack's spread. But I was Z Draco as I've already said and he gets to click Moonblast and he does kill me off. So, it's a good game with Jack. We do lose 1-0 unfortunately, so we're now 1-1 one one for the season. Um, it was a tough matchup, really. I think offensively I had a really good time, but defensively I, I couldn't. And Jack was able to play his Clef and Keldeo perfectly. The rest of his team he didn't really need in the end, because uh, I killed it off. What I probably should have done is kept Mega Lock around uh, longer than I did. But hey ho, it, what's happened has happened. Looking back at it, I don't think I played very well. I think I could have done more to potentially defensively check that Keldeo, because it was a real issue for me. Um, but hey, that's the game. If you did enjoy, make sure you leave a like. I know this is probably the, one of the worst commentaries you've ever heard, but I'm trying to rush this to get this video out as soon as possible. Um, make sure you check out all the links in the description below for Jack, for the rest of the coaches in this league, and for the Twitter. Any other links I remember to put in there, just make sure you check them out. Um, thank you for watching this video, guys, and I will see you next time. Bye.